children welcome to jaydev edu cbse i am aparna msc bed with 10 years experience hi children i am jaydev msc bed research fellow i have more than 10 years experience today we are going to learning about the human circulatory system through one working model this is the wonderful and fabulous working model prepared by our aparna madam now she will explain how to prepare this working model for this purpose a wooden plank is needed one four bottles and one bottle as lungs and another big bottle for body parts a mortar is to be taken and some transparent two transparent tubes are to be taken kmn before is needed for that is potassium permanganate and one mortar is to be fixed so here this is heart it contains four chambers right auricle left auricle right ventricle and left ventricle to this i have fixed inferior vencava and this it continues to the pulmonary artery and then here it lungs and then to the pulmonary vein and there here it is the systematic aorta and next to the body parts okay wow now it's the working model of the circulatory system you can see this Hi students now we are learning about the human circulatory system with the help of a wonderful and fabulous working model of a human circulatory system which prepared by our aparna madam now we are going to learning this human circulatory system actually human circulatory system contains or consist of one heart blood vessels and a blood blood three these are the three parts are present in our human circulatory system this blood always continuously moving in our body so that the name it as a circulatory system the main function of the heart is the pumping of the blood to lungs so that this is the heart known as the motor also we are named as the heart is the motor because they are pumping the blood always they are pumping the blood to lungs and various parts of the body okay we can observe this working model so that here these four parts these are the four chambers are there these four chambers are 
right auricle and a left auricle and a left ventricle and a right ventricle so that these four chambers resembles like a human heart human heart so that here one tube is there this tube they named as a inferior vena cava inferior vena cava collecting the deoxygenated blood from a various parts of the body so that this bottle indicates about the body parts in that body parts during the life process or metabolic activities the deoxygenated blood are generated this deoxygenated blood they must be oxidated they must be converted to oxygen blood that's why these deoxygenated blood carries by the inferior vena cava that means below the heart that inferior vena cava carries the deoxygenated blood from a various parts of the body above the heart there carries the deoxygenated blood from through superior vena cava here we are not mentioned about the superior vena cava actually here we can mention the superior vena cava both are united and they entered into the right auricle this right auricle receiving the deoxygenated blood from various parts of the body this right auricle they are filled with the deoxygenated blood and these deoxygenated blood enter into right ventricle through one valve is there here one valve is there the function of the valve is to prevent the backward movement of the blood to prevent the backward movement of the blood here right auricle and right ventricle between one valve is there that is called a tricuspid blood tri uh, tricuspid valve this tricuspid valve they prevent the backward movement of the deoxygenated blood this deoxygenated blood they enter into the right ventricle from this right ventricle carries by the one blood vessel that blood vessel called pulmonary artery pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for the purpose of a purification here we mentioned about the pulmonary artery actually blood vessels are two kinds we know blood vessels are two kinds one is the veins another is the arteries veins and the arteries the function of the veins is to carry the deoxygenated blood from various parts of the body whereas arteries carries the oxygenated blood oxygenated blood from the lungs to and the uh, heart to so that this is the arteries function but uh, here we mentioned about the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery function is to carry the deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to lungs but the artery carries the oxygenated blood only in our human circulatory system one exemption is there that is here only this blood vessel pulmonary artery carries only deoxygenated blood the remaining all arteries carries the oxygenated blood here one exception is there that is the pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood through the lungs here the reaching the deoxygenated blood they are mixed with the oxygen 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 molecule oxygen molecule and they are converted into the deoxygenated blood to oxygenated blood that means purified blood this purified blood again they are transporting again they are pumping into one blood vessel that is called a pulmonary vein that pulmonary vein receiving the oxygenated blood that means a purified blood here one exception is there that actually in human beings veins are carries the deoxygenated blood here this exemption pulmonary vein only carries the oxygenated blood so the our examination point of view these both bits are very important that pulmonary veins in our circulatory system carries the oxygenated blood only from lungs to from lungs to lungs to left auricle of the heart
left auricle of the heart. This is called a pulmonary vein. From this pulmonary vein, that the left auricle receiving the oxygenated blood, this oxygenated blood enter into the left ventricle through the one valve is there, that valve is called a mitral valve or a bicuspid valve, bicuspid valve through that, that the oxygenated blood enter into the left, left ventricle. Here, that left ventricle, oxygenated blood, that oxygenated blood, they are pumping into the various parts of a human body through one big blood vessel that is called systematic aorta. This is the big trunk which is arised from a left ventricle and these big trunk, they are splitting into small blood vessels that is the arteries and the capillaries and the these are again again they are splitting in small capillaries from left ventricle to throughout the body they are pumping in the pumping into the oxygenated blood into various parts of the body and again this oxygenated blood they are convert into the deoxygenated blood in, in metabolic activities and life process again they are forming the deoxygen blood again they are receiving by the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava both are again they are receiving the right auricle again they are sending to lungs for the purpose of purification this movement they are continuously performing in our yeah, circulatory system that's why they named as circulatory system always the blood they are pumping into the lungs from heart to lungs for the purification so that they named as the uh, wow, circulatory system okay children have you understood this working model I think you are uh, understood about this working model simply here we took uh, one uh, plank, wooden plank, we are fixed the domestic articles which are available in our home, they are fixed in the proper manner with the help of heavy kicks. Here, four bodies resembles like heart, human heart, they are fixed with the tubes, these tubes are indicated about the blood vessels, blood vessels, so that in this blood vessels, we are pumping in the water, water we can't find out their indication, how they are passing, so that we, we want to visible this water passes, so that we are mixing with the KMNO4, that is potassium permanganate inside this bottle, so that whenever we are pumping these water, this came for water, their movement are indicating like this, indicated. so we can easily observe and we can easily visible the passes of this water or blood, we can identify the passes of the blood, okay now? So that here, this is the body parts, for that, for that purpose, we have taken one big bottle and contain the water with the mixing of the KMNO4, potassium permanganate. So that this fabulous and wonderful working model provided by our Apornamis and I think you can understand this working model of a human circulatory system. So that we are going to continuously providing for your easy understanding purpose of the science and every subject we are going to provide from the all the CBSE services so that our Jaydev Edu CBSE providing quality education with easy understanding by providing the working models and activity based models and chart models everything wherever necessary we are going to providing these all the teaching aid by easily if you can grasping the subject so that you please subscribe to our Jaydev Educate channel and share to your friends also you can click on bell button you can receiving the immediate notifications immediate notifications so that our Aparnam is also you, she can uh, express uh, his uh, ideas with you so students please don't forget to subscribe thank you